Here is position 3 of the minor pentatonic scale. Using this new position will extend both positions 1 and 2 of the minor pentatonic scale, expanding your knowledge of the fretboard and allowing you more freedom when soloing across the entire neck. So let's get started. To learn position 3 of the minor pentatonic scale, you first need to know how it connects with position 2. So let's look at both together. As you can see, our starting note for position 3 is the second note of position 2. You will also notice that both positions share these notes on the fretboard. You could view these notes as the glue that connects both position 2 and 3. Now that we have our starting note, we can run through the scale. Try to memorize and practice this position, ascending, so playing up the scale, and descending, playing down the scale, until you have a basic grasp of the pattern. Next up, to avoid sounding lost when soloing, you will need to identify the root notes within position 3. As we are in the key of A minor, then the root notes would be the A notes located here and here. When soloing, try to center your phrases around these root notes to give your solos much greater direction and purpose. One issue faced when learning position 3 is that it's much further away from our comfort zone in position 1. As most guitarists new to lead guitar will nearly always start a guitar solo in position 1, this makes position 3 a bit of an afterthought, which we might climb up to during a solo only to quickly return to our comfort zone once again. Here is a great way to fix this. When beginning a solo, you first think of the root note that matches the key of the song, in this case A, and most guitarists at this stage will gravitate towards the A on the low E string which will then determine where they place position 1, and from there they build outwards. What we need to do here is create a new comfort zone in position 3. So from now on, as a bit of a personal challenge when starting a solo, don't think where is the root note on the low E string, think where is the root note on the A string, and start your solos from this point in position 3 of the minor pentatonic scale. Do this until the process feels as effortless as jumping straight into position 1. To speed up the time it takes to get familiar with this new position, let me show you how to transfer any phrases or licks you already play in position 1 to position 3 of the minor pentatonic scale in 3 steps. To begin with, let's look at the first 4 notes of the first position of the minor pentatonic scale, so A, C, D and E, and now the location of these same notes in position 3. This will allow you to play the same licks in both locations, for example. The four notes on the D and G strings in position 1, so G, A, C and D, can be played here in position 3, allowing you to play the same licks in both positions. And lastly, the four notes on the B and E strings, so E, G, A and C. These can be played here in position 3, once again allowing you to play identical licks in both positions. Changing keys works exactly the same as it would do for position 1 and 2. Position 3 just tags along for the ride. Just shift both scale patterns together until you arrive at the correct root note that matches the key of the song you're playing to. Once you're comfortable playing in the first three positions of the minor pentatonic scale, you will want to expand the fretboard by learning the next position, which we will move on to in the next lesson. Feel free to like, subscribe and comment below if you haven't already. And see you in the next one.